Paying their respects to the heroes of 1936, they marched through what Londoners call the East End in memory of one of its most famous, some would say finest, days of victory against fascism. Passing the Tower of London, 5,000 fascists rally to their mobilization for the much advertised march through the East End. And Sir Oswald Mosley, black shirt leader, arrives at Royal Mint Street to inspect his followers. The black shirts, sympathetic to Adolf Hitler in Germany, tried to march through these then predominantly Jewish streets. But an unexpected alliance of Jews, Irish dock workers, communists and trade unions blocked the route and eventually the police cancelled the march. It's part of London folklore, almost out of living memory, but not quite. While the police firmly prevent the battle from taking an uglier turn. We track down a Battle of Cable Street survivor, 99 years old, still proud of her role as a fighter of fascism. You feel more safer today. And of course it was worth it, you know. They don't, they've got no more places around the East End where they used to have and go down the streets, break the windows in the shops, the Jewish shops. You don't see that happening today. So we must have done something then. Then I'm going back 80 years. <laughs> of course, the East London of 1936 is very different to that of today. The Jewish community that used to live around here has all but disappeared. But the issues of that time, of how different communities live together and how they cope with political extremists, are still very relevant. Many of the people on Cable Street watching the march go by are Muslims, mostly of Bangladeshi origin. That's where the local MP comes from. She believes this is much more than just another anniversary. The rise in anti-Semitism as well as Islamophobia is growing across Europe. And we have to be vigilant and we have to make sure that people do not take for granted the rights and liberties that they have today because the preachers of hate haven't gone away. The mural tells the story of the battle. And in a country where racist hate attacks have increased since the Brexit vote, the events of Cable Street still resonate. Barnaby Phillips, Al Jazeera, in the East End of London.